so it's just past um, probably 6.30 by now, I wouldn't doubt. 6.32, yep. Um, truck's running, Liam's car's screaming. Um, let's get out of here, we gotta go. Um, slept in a little bit, perfectly fine. There was just the dusting last night, nothing too exciting. Um, gonna throw on the uh, woolly pants and bundle up. I'm tracking, or trying to, I'm gonna get up high, creep around in some thick stuff hopefully, and uh, see what we can do. But I'm not sure what Liam's doing, I think he, I suggested he go to this, some thick stuff and just sit and wait, see if something walks out for him, but we, uh, we gotta get moving. Too. I'm out driving still. It's uh, 7.16 now, at least on the truck clock. Liam jumped out on a road, uh, no track or anything, unfortunately. It's pretty much just a dusting, so it's gonna be the same kind of loud, crunchy nastiness it was yesterday. Um, I've got a river to my right here, just uh, shooting this road, and then it comes down to a big corner. I'm looking at working this piece because it's flatter than the rest of the area around here. And with uh, 18 degree weather, high winds, um, I kind of want to stay low and I hope the deer want to do the same because uh, it would be a pretty nasty day up high, I think. Yesterday had to be close to that, if not 20, 22 degrees, somewhere in there. I think it was 23 for the rest of the day once we got in the trucks and stuff and started driving around. But I am uh, driving this road. Nobody's been on it yet today, anyways. Um, there's plenty of tracks from the other day when it was muddy. But the, uh, the dusting hopefully will hold the deer track for me. 18 degrees, windy, flurries, gross. Gross, but we're deer hunting, so it's better than better than it could be. We got water. We got an extra pair of gloves. We got a ridge behind us that kind of it bounces a couple of places. So, hand warmers are just gonna go in the pockets for a bit until we really need them. See if I can warm up my thighs. These chicken thighs don't warm up fast enough on their own. Excuse me. Jesus, what a poor excuse for a gentleman. Okay. GoPro's good. You're getting stuffed into the bag. That ridge is right here. And it looks like it does 150, 100 feet of elevation really quick. So I don't want to do that. I want to kind of go to the edge of it. The wind is keep switching. The wind is going to be like that all day, I think. It's never just one direction. So I'm going to try and get up and just skirt the edge of where it drops off, see if something's moving that edge. But we have some old deer tracks here. That seems to be, have been the problem consistently is we're in deer sign, but it's the day before and the day after. Kind of day and two day old sign. So I kind of hope the wind picks up a little bit to kind of block out that. Like, there's there's no way to minimize that other than getting in thick stuff. So that's what we're going to try and do is get into the green ran, stay in it. So let's keep moving. Pretty good track. Um, that's running though. So for me I don't have that much experience tracking let's keep going we got that track been following it for I don't know a quarter quarter of a mile or something and it's trying to go around the edge <clears throat> of the high spot they're in the open kind of different than what I was thinking they're gonna do they're smaller tracks. I'm not really worried about that part. I just want to be on deer. Because deer should be going to other deer, I hope. At least that's that's what I think in my mind. 
they got to be looking out for other deer. So maybe a bigger buck crosses a track or something, but he's yanking my hair. So I'm switching over to another layer. So I'm starting to sweat already. I'm forgetting 18 degrees and I'm sweating. Maybe I get lucky and a buck has crossed it, but I think I'm better off just covering ground off of that track. One point one nine in an hour and a half. We're going slow. That's why I just came through. I sucked. I think I've got to go out to these skid trails and then around. So it'll take a minute. But whew, some food, some water. And uh, go kill a buck. Really pretty simple. I think. There's a hell of a spot for you. The ridge goes all the way up. Pretty crazy. Swing and a miss. Not really a swing, no shots. I almost shot a partridge right here by the truck though. The thing had it coming, teasing me like that. 5.13, still not a super long day in terms of miles, but today, probably just driving around for the afternoon. It's frustrating that that one cut is where the, the deer are, but is what it is. That and of course the uh, GoPro wanted to die pretty much all day. The uh, batteries didn't seem to last more than 20 minutes apiece. So actually I'll just keep this on. So I'm gonna go back see if Liam's back. Hopefully he shot one. Uh, we'll see what he's up to. Holy cow, my sandwich is falling apart. Well, um, got some food, got a uh, soda. Um, Liam left a note saying he was heading back today. It is 2.48. Do I remember my phone? Yeah. 2.48, Wednesday. Um, I have until so Monday night I have to work. New Hampshire is great. I'm liking it. It's really steep. And holy shit is it cold sleeping in that tent. So. It's 3 o'clock. We are going to take a drive. I don't know if we're going to go to town. Maybe. Um, chat. Some folks. I think. A call. See what it's like back home. See if there's snow that's not like announcing to the world, hey, I'm walking over here. It's better than um, not hunting, I guess. But I was super optimistic getting that deer to blow at us. Um, 
kind of annoying that it happened like that. The wind wasn't coming to us. I guess they it had just seen us sneaking that edge. But we'll uh, smack this sandwich and uh, drive around. And I'll shoot a road deer. It's fine with me. The uh, standards are lowering fast. It, it's just dropping right off a cliff now. Um, deer meat tastes pretty good. Especially in the uh, cold months of February through uh, the rest of the winter. Now we're living. New batteries, that's all it took. Who would have thought? Well, here's the uh, the mess. You got uh, kitchen stuff over there. Sleeping. Cooler. Gear. Gear. Got my saddle stuff under there. We are uh, in the midst. So... I'm uh, I'm torn between tear everything down. You see there, that wakes you up every 30 minutes. Just settling in. We're gonna try and ride it out in the tent as long as we can. Um, see if we can fit some full logs in there. The peat refuel and chicken alfredo, and uh, some canned and smoked mussels. And a um, little uh, Coke and Maker's Mark. Absolutely uh, horrendous spread for a meal, um, but it tastes like heaven right now. As you can see, the uh, tents flapping all over the place. First time putting it up, so I'm not terribly mad at it. Um, it's pretty straight. All the lines are pretty much there. Just got to do it a couple more times, I think and get it really tied down. I'm gonna eat this. It is a whopping 6.33 and I am exhausted. I know that there's a bunch of trackers watching this, which I got on some tracks today, but 5.1 miles or whatever we did, it's nothing to brag about, um, especially in steep terrain like this. I should be getting on ridges and just running but um, it's loud, it's windy, it's cold. There's a lot of things going against us this week, so we are going to move everything out of the tent, into the truck, rip down the tent, pull all the pipes out, um, throw everything in the back of the truck, and then drive, um, I think, to where we jumped that deer. I'm gonna hunt New Hampshire in the morning, and then move north and hunt Maine in the afternoon. And then we got Thanksgiving dinner at 6 o'clock. So Thanksgiving's absolutely my favorite holiday of the year. I love the food. I love the time of year. And I love being around family. So it, uh, it really didn't make sense in my head. Um, I wanted to be here. I wanted to do the whole week thing. But it's just lying at lining up to be something different so we're going to take it how it comes maybe tomorrow morning we get lucky in new hampshire but then we've got um friday saturday in maine hell if we feel like it we can drive the hour and 20 hour and 30 minutes back to new hampshire and hunt sunday in new hampshire um but we got food getting cold we gotta eat thanks for watching day two in new hampshire